Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech and today we are using Space Desk in order to expand our screen into multiple monitors without another actual screen. First of all, Space Desk is a free app that you can download. It's... I wouldn't call it a beta because it is working, but I do remember that I recall somewhere that it did say beta. Anyway, it worked for me on our machine and I'm going to install it from the beginning on my laptop and use it uh, on my phone as a second screen. So basically what it allows you if you have... Now in my case it's just for fun for testing, it isn't very useful in this case, but if you have for example an old tablet or something like that, you can make it work as your second screen on the computer if you don't have another screen, so it might be useful for example if you are editing a video on your main screen or watching a movie and you do want to keep up on your social media, for example, Facebook or something like that, on an hour screen. So that's a good thing. So what you need to do is first of all download an extension for your computer and then download the Space Desk app on your device. Now it does support Windows, Android and Mac and you can pretty much install it vice versa, so uh, I'm not really sure if the phone, if the Android phone can be the server, uh, if you can expand the Android phone screen, but you can expand your Windows screen to another Windows screen, or to another Android, or to another Mac, etc. So, let's go ahead and first of all install it on the phone. Now, one requirement is that both of the devices should be on the same network, so if they're on the same Wi-Fi, for example, it will be good. It will not work if we are on a different network or something like that. Now it does say on the phone that is sort of a beta of a driver and basically it recognizes my desktop PC but I'm not going to use that. But we are going to install it on our laptop this time. So uh, as you can see you can install the uh, server driver which that's what we are going to install right now. But you can also install the client as you can see, you can install it on many things. It actually can be extended via the browser itself. So if it supports HTML5, you can actually extend your uh, screen via HTML5 without actually installing it on your uh, computer or Android or whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and install the 64-bit. Now the installation should be pretty simple without anything special. So yeah, uh, it does use network obviously, so you do want to uh, mark that, obviously yes. Now let's hit finish. Okay now, first of all, after you install it, you do need to reset your computer. For some reason it doesn't work on my Windows version, but I think it's because on my laptop I actually installed an insider preview Windows version. That means that I receive insider updates that are not always very good. I think that's the problem. Anyway, what I did is connected with TeamViewer to my other desktop computer and we're going to try to connect to the desktop actually. Now, sorry, but I did put the phone like this. What we're going to do is actually drag this window to the other screen and as you can see, I can pretty much move. Now, okay, sorry, let's grab my mouse so it will be a little bit easier. So as you can see, I can basically pretty much move it all around between the screens. So now we have two screens. Now that's good, you can open something on one screen and, and work on the other one. So that's very cool. Now, as I said, not always it is working perfectly. As you can see, it didn't really work fully for me. Now obviously you cannot work on such uh, a small screen like your phone. But if you have a tablet, it would be much better. And if you have another computer but separate and you do want to sometimes make it available as a second monitor, it can be a good thing as well. Obviously, resolution might vary. So, for example, here, I wouldn't be able to see my, for example, Facebook messages or something like that. But I would be able probably to move some windows here and to work with it as a second screen. So for example, I can edit a video with Adobe Premiere and move some tools to the other screen so I can use it even with the touch of the phone. So yeah, you can actually move uh, everything 
with your phone, you can do it with the touch. So it works as well. Again, it's a very simple app, it's free, it's called Spacedisk, and you can use it as a second monitor. If you want to, for example, use your old tablet or something like that, it can be a great benefit. Thank you for watching this Demostech episode. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss any future video. And I'll see you on the next one.